The D-backs, or as some players and fans refer to them, Los D-backs, are no strangers to diversity. Everybody here is from every, like at some place all over the country or all over the world even. And so to have a mixture of people from all different backgrounds, from all different walks of life, from different countries, you get to learn a lot about them. And it's funny how baseball can bring all these people together. Venezuela, the Dominican Republic, Cuba, Canada, Panama, and the United States are all represented within the D-backs clubhouse. It's a dream, it's a dream come true, you know, because of every, every Latin uh, kid is just waiting for, for this opportunity to come and, and, and help, help their families and everything. It's just, I know it's another, another culture in here, then different culture than Dominican is, it's a little different, but we, we made the adjustment and we, we, now we're here and I, I really enjoy this culture too. For the international players, learning a new culture is not the only adjustment. They must also learn a new language. I think, uh, at the beginning it was a little bit scary because I, I knew a little bit of English, but still I didn't want to make, make any mistake in front of the, the guys, you know. However, the native English-speaking D-backs are more than willing to help their teammates adjust. They'll ask how to say something, or if they see a particular word and they don't understand it, they'll ask, or sometimes you'll ask them how to say specific things in Spanish. While the Diamondbacks may speak different languages off the field, once they step out of the dugout, they all speak the same language, baseball. The game is the same, but for the Latino players, the hardest part of coming to the States was leaving their families behind. Leave your family. Stay away from your family. That's, that's hard. You know, I realize that you, you got to do it for, to get a better life, to, do, to go for your dream and go, you, go, go, go to work. But my mom was, you know, she was sad because I was leaving home, you know, and I was, was going to be away for a couple of months, so I think she was, she was a little bit sad. Reporting from Los D-Back Spring Training, I'm Megan Keebler.